Simultaneously, daily vlog and uh, do a live broadcast at ustream.tv. And so we have two eyesights on us right now with two different views of of our, like, what would you call this set? Production area? I'm not really sure. It's the lounge. Should we scoot over a little? Since we're kind of funky on the well, vlog. Yeah, but then I'll. I'll oh, well, oh, I there you are. Fit on the it's Ustream still on the Ustream. Okay, so, well, we were talking oh, about. We're very well framed now. We. We were talking about um, food and food allergies and all kind of weird food stuff. So, should mm -hmm. we keep talking about food? Do you want to keep talking? I about love food. Food, food well, is awesome. Food is good. <laughs> but, but uh, I don't know. We should say something more I interesting may be skinny, than just food. But is good. I can eat. I could eat you <laughs> under the table. <laughs> Let's have an eat down. Well, it, okay. Have you seen those like professional eating contests? Is it me or are those crazy and kind of disgusting? Um, I, I would definitely say disgusting. Yeah, like, they kind of weird me out. Like, 60 hot dogs with buns, and you know, like, ugh, I'm not really yeah, into that. Yeah, that's not a sport I'm really into. But rather than competitive eating, I really like competitive cooking. Mm. Like, chili cook-offs or barbecue things, like, especially if it includes, like, a cash prize and a trophy, mm. or even just the trophy. Those are always fun. Cooking, that's good. But, yeah. I, but, I, but I definitely like the eating of the cooking. Yeah. That's good. Well, and, you know, um, I hate that, like, like you watch these shows like Iron Chef or whatever, and you drool, and then you don't get to see what you, it tastes like. Mm -hmm. You know, you're just like, <gasps> and then it must be even worse to be in the studio audience, because there's only, like, those five people that get to, uh, to, taste, it. to taste it. And so, but there's the rest of the audience in the arena, and they can smell it, and they can, like, see the people enjoying mm -hmm. it, and they're just like, that yeah. looks like the best food ever made, and yet you can't, and you can't enjoy it. Well, you know, one thing that's, it, with it being summertime, it's that time of year for, like, barbecuing and, um, you know, fairs and carnivals and stuff, and um, it, it seems like a, the ideal time for, I sort of associate certain foods with the season, you know, mm -hmm. and I love that berries have been in season, been eating a lot of berries, mm -hmm. And like um, the other day, we finally berries are cheap. I've been waiting yeah. for about a year and a half. R like I missed when they got cheap last year. I, it was like all summer. I kept yeah. waiting. And Angelina's so nice lips. Up. <laughs> it never, uh, seemed like it did. Yeah. Well, and and but like when we went to the carnival or whatever a couple weekends ago, one thing that was cool is it's like like funnel cake. Like you can't get funnel cake at a normal place. You can only get it like at the fair. You know. Um, but I and I eat Wally a World sells a funnel cake maker, so you could have funnel cake all year round, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I didn't know that. Yes. Um, but one thing that I had <laughs> that was good was a big pickle. I had like a gi you know, giant, you like know, giant pickle. dill pickle, and I was like, mm -hmm. you know, I usually don't buy those because you know sometimes they are just like heaven on earth, but other times like you know they're disappointing, and mm -hmm. you never know until you buy that like giant pickle if it's going to be the good several one dollar time. pickle. And then, like, if I pay several dollars for a pickle and it's just so-so, then I feel really, really ripped <laughs> off. <laughs> well, it's funny. I thought it was quite good. My mm -hmm. sister thought it was good. The baby insisted on having his own. My nephew, who's one and a half, he had his own giant pickle, <laughs> which is funny because he, he's got these little tiny hands and the pickle's all huge. But my mom was like, eh, not so good. But we, we all liked it, so maybe it's just whatever flavor hits you, you yeah. know? your taste for pickles. Well, like yeah. the spicy pickle? Mm -hmm. I've never had a spicy pickle from the spicy pickle. Mm. But um, Arthur did. And he said that was like the biggest ripoff in the world. Really? Like he did, was not a fan of the spicy pickle, spicy pickle. Ah, interesting. That it was basically like really spicy, but it wasn't a good pickle. Yeah. And I was, and that's, it's an expensive pickle. Yeah. 
Well, it's it's funny, you know, like I was just mentioning barbecue a minute ago, but like I was just thinking pickles and barbecue, like they seem to kind of go together mm. really, really well. Well, like, I think that's the a sweetness marriage. on the grill mm. is always good, whether that's a relish or you're barbecuing fruit as a dessert. <gasps> and I love barbecue pickles. Almost peaches. done with the regular recorded daily vlog, oh, so we'll see oh. you next week, but watch us on Ustream at thedailyblog.com at 3 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. Thank you.